We are here at Embedded World 2023 and I am joined by Jason from BeagleBoard. Now, BeagleBoard have been a well-known open hardware development platform for a very long time. And it's a very exciting time because they now have not one, but two new products to introduce to us. So I'm going to hand straight over to Jason and say, what are we looking at today? Why is these two new boards so exciting? There's a, there's a lot of reasons these two new boards are really exciting, but this is... Um, these, these, so uh, I don't even know where to get started, but the, 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 we have the Beagle Play and the Beagle Connect Freedom, right? So with the, with the Beagle Play, this is a Linux um, single board computer, but it brings a lot of simplicity to development. And we have a new chip from Texas, Texas Instruments. It's the AM62 device. And so it gives us finally a low, another low cost. This is the chip we've been asking for from TI and they've given it to us and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. So it's a quad core A53. We put a couple, couple gigabytes of, of RAM on here, but we've really tried to make the developer experience a lot easier, right? So we're fe featuring a microbus connector, so you can connect up uh, over a thousand different uh, microbus clickboards. We've also got Grove and, and Quick, um, and we've got some really innovative connectivity options um, with single pair Ethernet and this sub gigahertz wireless. Yeah, yeah. And and really to make the sub gigahertz wireless like super super useful, we we've, we've also got the Beagle Connect Freedom, yeah. which is using the same microcontroller that we have on the Beagle Play to do um, the wireless connection, right? And so it's a it's a Cortex M4 um, you know, applications processor. We're running Zephyr on here. And so we, you can create a, a, a wireless connection up to a kilometer away at a kilobit, right? So, so we can have all these um, microbus uh, sensors, right? Um, you know, up to a kilometer away collecting data, right? So we have two, two microbus ports on the, um, the Beagle Connect Freedom, and that allows you to extend the reach of what you can do with the, the Beagle Play. And, um, and for, for folks that might not be familiar with uh, the uh, click boards, um, sure. this, this really is an ecosystem adding pretty much any kind of I.O. or sensor to, to both sets of boards um, without any kind of soldering, just get it kind of up and running pretty much straight away, right? Sure. It's, a, it's, an, it's an open standard created by Microelectronica who makes the most boards for it, right? So the yeah. click boards are Microelectronica boards, but it's a a freely licensable standard. You can use the logo if you create a compliant solution. Okay, so they make it really easy for people to work with, right? And it, but, it, but anybody can do it. And it's a very um, simple to follow um, set of guidelines. It has all the kind of typical embedded buses that you want, SPY, uh, UART, um, I squared C, um, PWM and analog. And we really love um, Grove and Quick. Um, for all that you can do with um, you know two wires plus power um, solutions, <laughs> oh my goodness, hey, and <laughs> and um, um, so we really love what you can do with that. But once you have um, those extra signals, yeah. um, then there's really n nothing you can't um, connect up from a from a from a, from a, a sensor indicator, um, you know, actuator type, you know, whether it's a motor controller or wireless connectivity um, or just you know, environmental monitoring, right? So over 1,300 clickboards from just Microelectronica, right? And then of course other people can come up with with Microbus boards as well. Sure, yeah. And um, 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 uh, as we say, it is a very exciting time to have both of these things released. And um, you will be able to find details in the description of this video and of course in the accompanying blog post as to where you can find these online. Um, are both of these things available now? Um, they, they, they are. They're available from, from Mauser, DigiKey, OKDo, and um, Farnell uh, Element 14. Yeah. Um, so they are all available now. Fantastic. And I guess just one final question, just because it's something that we talked about uh, just at the very start, just before this interview, is that um, there's, the idea of open hardware is something that is very important to you and has been important to BeagleBoard since the, uh, BeagleBoard since the very start. Um, and these can fit into that exact same model to you. So, I mean, what is what is open hardware to you in terms of the significance when it comes to these kind of development platforms? For me, it, it's so one of the things is we, we make sure that, I mean, we will provide these boards for 10 years down the line, yeah. right? So if people create uh, materials use, using these, they're available for 10, board, 10 years down the line. Um, and, and a lot of that doesn't really depend on us ultimately. If you go to our, our GitLab instance on git.beagleboard.org, you can get the design files, you can get the bill of materials, yeah, yeah. and, and you know, des design engineers can even take everything here and design their own boards, take full control of their supply chain 
and, and, and make sure there's continuity for your project, right? So you, you take all that time, yeah. you make that investment in doing a project, you want to make sure there's no limits to what you can do, and that's what we enable. Fantastic. So yes, the BeagleBoard Play and the BeagleBoard, uh, Beagle Connect Freedom, which both are available now, both very exciting new boards. Jason, thank you so much for giving me your time today. Thank you. Cheers. I really appreciate it.